Hey Vibes fam, welcome back to my channel where good food and good vibes is a must. Welcome back to another video. I pray all is well on your end. So today I'm just giving Uno a little peep as to how I prep my fruits for my Christmas fruit cakes or how me put my fruits for soak. So here I have a bag of prunes some raisins, like a red label wine, some mixed fruits. I don't have no currant by itself, but um, and of course some white rum. <laughs> so here I have a bag of prunes and some of these can come with a seed in it. So I'm just going to check to see if these have any seeds. So bust the bag open, bust it up, and see how them look there. Feel, 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 feel. No seeds detected, so the coast is clear. So family, even though I'm going to blend these out when I'm baking my cake, I'm going to cut these prunes into a couple pieces instead to just, you know, dash them in big and so so in my container, like so they my parent. No, ma'am. Mm -mm. I'm going to cut them up, not fine, but you know, just the right size so them can go on Billa vibes with the raisin and the mixed fruits, <laughs> you know, and all blend together in one accord. So here's the last one, and just like that, IR is done. Now that's done. I'm using my kitchen shears to open this here bag of raisins. And now it's dashing time. I'm sure no could I guess yeah, that may I say. <laughs> so to my jar, I'm pouring in some red label wine and some white rum. So I'm just adding a little bit of these to the bottom so that you know the bottom of my jar and a dry and sauce and just stay so you know, yeah, it actually makes it easier to fill up the jar overall. So those are my prunes, and now I'm pouring in some mixed fruits. And I'm gonna add some raisins next. Some like alternate, right? Well, make me stir it up first. Mix up, mix up, mix up, mix it up. I know that mix it up. Go in with some raisins. So I like to alternate because of aesthetics, you know. I want it for I want my little thing for look cute, same way. I'ma add back some raisins. So <laughs> you guys don't have to do this. If you don't want to just dash, just dash and throw and cut and go through, right? So yeah, add some rum and some wine. And by the way, guys, can I tell you all me late? I am so late. My mother do this maybe months ago. If you're in a mind shop, all one year she have our fruits they must soak for. <laughs> because it does help with the flavor to give your cake more flavor because you can think like if you leave your fruits them whole in the cake when you bite into it then you know you really get a nice well seasoned piece of you know fruit raisin or something so yeah um that's what it helps with to do it this way and by the way you guys are going to have to um top up top it up because the fruits will absorb the the rum and the wine it will absorb the alcohol for sure so you guys are going to have to top it up again although it depends on when you put your fruits for soak but say you have it put on for months for sure you have to put some more but yeah this is us i don't know see why i alternate and do it the way i do it see there like a mixed fruits down the bottom and then some raisin and still get some mixed fruits up the top so yeah vibes fam that is it by the way how do is there anything that i didn't add that you guys normally add to your fruits to your <laughs> when you put your fruits for soak listen guys i am so tired sorry i'm so tongue-tied but thank you so much for watching New watchers, please subscribe. Guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. 
and go follow me on Instagram and on, and on Facebook. Go put in the fruits for so. God bless you. Know.